to Valerie's Virtual Time! Hello everyone! Today we are going to do one practice. Well, if you, if you haven't seen my other video of one practice, please go check that out. But anyways, this is a validating HTML. Why did I thought I said it wrong? The HTML. I almost said HTM, HTML. <laughs> All right. Anyways, it says which lines of HTML CSS in the following web. Oh, by the way, this is the last project of HTML and CSS. So yeah. All right. Anyways. Which lines of HTML, CSS in the following web page are invalid? I'm sorry if that little thing interrupted me, but sorry about that. But anyways, paste the HTML in the HTML validator w3 org to see what it says. All right, so this is, so it says, which lines of HTML, CSS in the following web pages are invalid? Paste the HTML and all right. So it's it's there's a link over here, but I, I I actually have one all the way over here. So we're gonna we're gonna check my web pages next episode. But anyways, so let's go over here and paste this whole junk gunk. Chi. All right, copy it. Go over here, and then in text input. Oh, oh, geez. All right. All right. So see, hey, they actually put emojis. I actually, I can actually put emojis, even though I'm doing this in my computer. So now, look, we got this whole gunk over here. Let's press check. Now you might see nothing, but it's actually down here. See, so there's three errors. Number one, from the CSS. Oh, number one error, there's two errors. Number one error, This in the CSS, I'm just gonna, Put it in a sentence, all right? But it's not. So from in the CSS, the color blau is not a color value. It's a blue, not blau. So it's number one, blau is not a color value. From line eight, column 24, to line eight, to column 27, I have no idea what that means, so I'm just gonna skip it. All right, anyways, let me write that on my paper. And then error number two, let's see, let's write this down. Error number two, duplicate ID heading from line 14, column nine, to line 14, to column 25. All right, so it says H2ID heading, do 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 let's see. All right, let's go back here. Let's go up that ups. Let's see. Oh, okay, I see it. So look, the, the thing that caught my eye is actually, there's not supposed to be H1 ID heading and H2 ID heading. So that's the duplicate ID. It can, it it only has to be um, only one, not duplicate. All right, so blue, the blau part. All right, see, the, number one, it's the blau part. Number two, the duplicate heading. Uh, let me highlight that. One, and then two. All right, let's go back here. So let's go down. It says, oh, invalid. What? I have no, so, 
So the color blue is one. Um, this is wrong. And maybe this. All right. Oh, hold on. Maybe if I uncheck this. Oh! I'm like, I'm not sure if that was it, but maybe I'll try it. Next question. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, it says, which lines of the CS HTML CSS in the following web page are invalid? Paste the HTML in the HTTP validator thingy to see what it says. All right, then we're going to copy this. I have no idea what's going to be wrong, but I think something's going to be wrong. Well, maybe one or two to three. All right, then we're gonna recheck again. Let's go down. Whoa, three errors. All right. So there's three errors. Number one. Number one. An image element must have an alt attribute except under certain conditions. For details, consult guidance on providing text alternatives for images <laughs> from line 9 column 7 to line 9 to column <laughs> from line 9 column 7 to line 9 column 33 what is going on here all right so here we have an all right don't mind that oh the h1 all right so there's an h1 so, image, peta pumpkin, JPG. Oh, there's, there's no alt. Look, see? They just straight away put the uh, SRC. It's interesting how we can go out on this um, uh, practice. But anyway, it doesn't seem like practice anymore. All right, number error number two. An image element must have an alt attribute, except under certain conditions. For details, consult guidance on perfecting, on providing text alternatives for images, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> because, look, this is exactly the same except this. So, from line 10, column 7, anyways, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Alright, let's go down. Up. Let's go up again. So, look, do you see anything different with these images? All right, so number one, there's no alt, alt, must have an alt. So look, do you see these images I highlighted? Well, what it needs, it's an alt. So let's go, so let's go down to the third error, I believe, yeah. So... All right, so then... So the giant veggies all right. The H1 giant veggies all right. The image SRC. Okay, so these three are wrong. Yup. All right. Yeah, I believe we need it. Ugh, yeah. Which lines of CSS, HTML, CSS, and the following pages are invalid? Place the HTML in the validator, whatever thingy, to see what it says. All right. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. What is going on? All right. Copy it. And paste it here. All right. Oh, this one's out of scroll. All right. Let's check in way. All right. Three errors again. All right. Number one error. Number one error says n tag p seen, but there were open elements from line 15, column 44, to line 15, to column 47. All right, let's see what happens if I click this thing. Look, see? So it highlighted them. So this p and em.
so this em needs needs an ending tag this p already linked to this but then em cannot link with this because it's not the same and it needs an ending tag so em needs ending tag or closing tag anyways so the em is pouring out so let's go back up number two error unclosed m oh okay so these two we already solved it already then the number three is n tag for body seen but there were unclosed elements all right let's see mm, ah it's the body now all right so so this body is already here but then if you look up here there is another body. Hmm. There is another body, but what's what's wrong? End tag for body seen, but there were unclosed elements. Let's see. What is unclosed elements? Hmm. Let's examine this. All right, let's go down here. Hmm, let's think. Think, think, think. All right. Well, anyways. So, I got kind of confused. Basically, there's nothing wrong with the P, P tag, or the body. It's just the EM just cr just crushing everything and making those errors. We don't have an EM closing tag. So look, so just ignore the body and P. They're all fine, but look at this EM, it's unclosed. And that's what made me confused because that error, cause like the EM is crushing everything. So what if we just put this right over here, the ending EM tag, and then, oh, check again it's gone all the errors are gone so it's just literally like the EM crushing everything so let's go up here all right so uh, this one's a problem and yeah nothing else so all the all the valids are on this B. Like this, this is the main problem. That is all the problems, I believe. All right. All right. What's going on? All right. Let's copy it. All right, not that. Uh, excuse me, can you please, okay, uh, checky, check, check, checks, all right, so, one error, wow! So the font element is absolute. <laughs> All right, UCSS instead. So uh, basically, there's nothing wrong. Ex I thought the thumbs up was wrong, but no, that's interesting. So this font color green right over here that I just highlighted. Well, I know it's already highlighted, but I'll just highlight it for you. We highlight it <laughs> and look. The font color green, we have to use CSS instead. So that's, I guess, the only problem. So let's see. This and voila. And voila. Wait, what? Hold on. It says four out of four correct. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like and subscribe and 
next episode, we're going to have some fun. So, goodbye.